everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Inheritance. So we did pretty good last episode. We had a couple of easy battles at one and a half skulls. Hoping to continue that today, hopefully get some good stuff. Uh, if we go to the mech bay real quick, nothing has changed. I really haven't adjusted anything. Although we should probably have a quick look here. There's probably a few things we might be able to add. Like I know there was the, um, where is it here? Uh, down here there is um, contact compact life support so it removes one of the life support slots but saves us half a ton so I think I'm going to drop it in here and then maybe up the armor a little bit so we can go like 1, 2, 3, 4 5, 6, 7, 8 9 a little too much take one out the back CT that's pretty good. That, that maximizes our frontal armor. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let's validate this guy. Confirm. And right. I don't think there's anything else we want to look at. Now, I know we did pick up those two Rex lasers. Let's have a look here. Uh, where are they? Medium Rex are two ton of, a pop. And 20 heat. So these do, what? 9 heat. But these give us bonus... So the range is greater, better chance to hit, but it's got a recoil of two though, that's the problem. I was thinking of maybe putting these two on, like moving the, the small X pulse to the one of the torsos and then dropping this guy, one on each arm, but I think we'll stay away from that because of the recoil. We don't really have recoil compensation for this guy, so let's just stay off, stay out of that. And then, so nothing there. I don't think there's anything else I wanted to look at. Oh, the Griffin. We were talking about doing some stuff with the Griffin here. I mean, maybe... Like, if we try to turn this into a second Cephalus, like, we could go... Maybe we pull out the ER large. Because we're already kind of, like, cycling it. You know, put a couple of Rex lasers, one on each arm. That'll save a little bit of heat. And then maybe we drop a pair of the LRMs. We'll split these two up, one on each arm. And then maybe we go with a pair of SRM4s for closer range. And then a ton of ammo. Now, do we, don't ha we don't have any real... Sp we got Artemis ammo, but we don't have the ability to put it in because we don't have an Artemis fire control system. So we could go this route, you know? Heat goes up a little bit, but we're already cycling stuff anyway. Let's give this a shot for today. We can always go back, right? We can always go back to the ER large. But it's hitting so infrequently. And it's doing 55. Where these Rex lasers are doing 45 a pop. And even if we have to turn them off every like third turn. To drop the recoil. It's still worth it, right? It's doing more damage to armor and less to internals. But that's fine. Because if we can use them to open up armor. Then we can use the, um, the Zoria and um, the Hunchback and the um, the Cloudbuster to, to smash the internals. Because this guy generally goes before them most of the time. So let's go this route. Confirm that. On it. We'll get these fixed and then we'll go. Now a couple of our pilots have some ability to uh, raise their skills up. So we'll get those done too before we go. That work order you submitted? Now we're going to pass on the Solaris opportunity for now. I really need to try one of these. I've never actually done any um, Solaris uh, missions at all. So um, if you guys have an idea of how those work, just drop it in the comment section down below. I'd be interested to see if they're worthwhile or not. Uh, barracks. So let's see here. It was Griff that has got the ability to get some... I want piloting. Or we wait. Pilot, well, he's going to be in close now a little, little more. So let's get some guts on him. Mech warrior training complete. And you can sit, Standing sit by. tight. And you, we definitely want tactics. Training Increase in sensors. Hey. And you're fine, Sturm. Let's go with guts. Training confirmed, commander. And then taser face. 
Uh, we might want to go with piloting. Yeah. All right. I'm on it. We could go with both tactics and sensors. Or tactics and guts, I mean. Let's do that. Let's go that route. Night warrior training complete. Have it pretty balanced. Okay. Um, so command center we talked about yesterday, or last episode, going with this one. Uh, taking on the um, Lance identifying target. So let's go ahead and do this one. Going to go full salvage, of course. And hopefully this two and a half skull yields us something good. If not, we'll probably just jump off this planet because we need to get around two skull missions and we're kind of over with some of the other ones that are here. So let's just deploy and get it done. Command interface initiated. All right, well, here we go. Uh, they're here somewhere. But where? I love maps that have things like terrain like this. It's awesome. Uh, where are they? Uh, over here somewhere. So let's just say we just cross this bridge here. Save a bit of time. This means we're going to get the upper hand on them because we're above. Uh, let's make it a little bit more. Let's make it a little different. I'm going to go here. Come down in here. Four, five, six. Perfect. So I was talking a little bit last episode about how they could work with elementals and maybe giving them the, the cling ability to be able to cling on to mechs well, or vehicles that were passing by them. Hole. And that they could use that same cling ability to jump onto opposing mechs to do physical damage to them. And then I'm like, yeah, then that mech wouldn't be able to shoot at them. And then if you wanted to shoot them off, you'd have to take the chance of hitting your own guys. But then I'm like, there's got to be a way to shirk them off. So maybe the mech has the option, much like you've got that, um, if you take the, uh, where is it? Is it the active ability? Yeah, you've got the careful maneuvers. You have something like that that just, but you use it to, um, it just says like, you know, remove elementals or something like that. So that it spends its turn, you know, brushing off the elementals so that they're on the ground again. You know what I mean? So that the unit wouldn't be able to fire. And then you'd have a really good job. You'd have a really good job for, um, ooh, a Vindicator. Another urban mech for elementals basically to tie up those mechs that you want to like Moving out. Um, keep from firing right I think that would work great on my way okay cloudbuster can come in here I'm going and how far can you go I'll get you right down there perfect getting in the trees baby you know and your mech would still have its movement its full movement but it wouldn't be able to fire Right? It could shirk off the enemy, but still be able to shoot at them, you know? Or not be able to shoot at them, I mean. But it could still move. Alright, so it looks like we're facing eight. Okay, don't know what that was. Orders. Your job is to kill this spider, should you choose to accept it. On my way. Double time. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, that's pretty good. We'll fire it all. All right, we got one on. Not bad. Not bad. What's this, a locust? Flea. Mongoose. At this rate, I hope they... Oh, Clint. I mean, they got some heavier guys up here. Well, mediums, but I mean heavier than normal. What are you rocking? Maybe he's got like three, uh, Apollo, okay. Maybe he's got three, um, TBM-5s or something. Oh, he's got a Thunderbolt 2-pack, two, two Thunderbolt 10s. That could be scary. That firebomb is scary as hell too, but he doesn't have it, so. On you, Commander. That's fine. Let's clear this spider out if we can. So we'll move up. Metal to the metal. Do the heavier su fire support for that cephalus, so let's get in here and do the battle. Alright, that's not too bad. The heat's uh, uh, kind of okay. Alright, let's fire on him. Time to die. Should be enough to make that guy think twice about continuing forward anyway. 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see what our percentage chance to hit is from here. Probably going to be garbage, but... Oh, 25 is not bad. It's because of the targeting computer. It's got I got the long-range computer. That's a beautiful number right there. So it's got it's, it's a thousand and forty meters, uh, negates no visual, and then it's got night vision and all that kind of God. stuff. So, yes, enjoy. What no? We're coming for you. Copy. I think the Apollo just didn't move. I think that's why he's so easy to hit now. Thirty-four, eh? Two. 47 on the Irby. Not shooting on that guy. 31 on this guy. So maybe we follow it up with a... Uh, let's follow it up with a strike. Did we actually hit his head? I think we did. For an alpha strike. Eh, whatever. a little bit of damage. That Clint's got some movement to it. Commander. Storm Tiger. Location confirmed. Now, I think this guy's out of the range for the sensors. Oh, sensors aren't coming from him anyway. Never mind. We will, however, shoot at this guy. Cage. Beacon's a miss. Negative damage. I repeat, negative damage. <laughs> Sounds like my brother. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. I laugh, but it was like, there was so many times that he would just talk, because he was so, he had such a hard I'm time Daniel. with his arthritis, it would just hurt him when he would talk, right? He just sounded like he was just so angry sometimes, right? And it would just shock people, right? And I'm like, oh no, he's not angry, he's not panicked, he just does a hard time talking. I used to have to explain it to him, he's like, no, that's how he talks, man. Get used to it, if you want to talk to him. He's just going to sound oh, really on, intense. Rigged. It is rigged. Rigged against us. That's it, baby, keep moving forward. Alright, um... Spider doesn't want to go anywhere, but maybe we push this, uh... Vindicator, get inside his TBM range, although that's a really lousy chance to hit. It's because he's in these um, things here. Uh, let's reserve. Waiting for my opening. R90. So it's got a PPC. R90. That's an interesting version. PPC, two mediums and a small laser. Sure. Let's get up here. So that Apollo move, but that's still a pretty good chance on him. It's the energy Apollo too, which is a bizarre kind of loadout. Yeah, it's like right through my guy. 23, 40, 47. 40, 34. What's it on this guy? Sure, let's try to apply some damage to this guy now. Right. Oh, yeah. Enjoy it, Bubba. Enjoy. If we can get some openings, hopefully the Zoria can follow up with the, uh, the cluster rounds and the missiles. There's that mongoose. Oh, it's got a PPC, eh? I wonder if it's a snub or if it's just a regular one. Ready for orders. It's just garbage chance to hit. Let's wait. We'll wait and see where that guy moves. Aye, aye. Holding. Holding for tactical advantage. All right, Batman. So the spider, the Vindic, oh, he's gonna melee. Going to commit suicide.
Welcome to the jungle, motherfucker. I'm here. Welcome to the jungle. Let's get up here. Moving to position. Yeah, we got this guy opened up. 28%. It's an arm, though. Hmm. 40 on this guy. Let's go after this guy. I hope it hurts. Strip some more armor. Plus, if we get lucky and plink his head, it'll make it even worse for him. Why? Why? Please, please, Rogue Tech team, if you if you're listening, put a checkbox to remove melee. Orders. All right. Um. Um is not a word. Twenty-seven percent. Let's get up here. Rolling. Get some height. 21, 24, 27, 35. See if we can take a good shot and take a chunk off this guy. Cry havoc. Nope, not today. Here comes that Clint man. Oh, he's a stealthy boy. It's the quick sell, Clint. What can I do for you? Don't have enough juice to get back there, unfortunately. Let's get Go down here turbo. temporarily. And we're gonna drop the recoil off this because I got a feeling we're gonna be engaging that Clint in a second. And let's put some sensors on this guy. Alright. Yes, Commander. Do 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 Say goodbye, good sir. Mm. It's got ten points of armor on his back. Eighteen the CT. See ya. Solid connection, that one. Yep. All right, let's not bother with that guy anymore. He still has his weapon though, because in the center torso. But I don't think he's going to be going before anybody next turn. He's a stick right now. So, like, <laughs> he has a medium pulse laser, but he's lost both of his sides. So he's going to decrease in. Uh, Chance to hit here. All right, this isn't too bad. Take a shot at him. Locked on. We get the narc. We did. Nice. That's gonna help. All right. Fair enough. And he goes. How does he go? <sighs> sure. Fine. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, man. What do you need? Whatever. Okay, I want to make sure that that, uh, that. Clint doesn't take on anybody that's soft targets. So we're going to move forward. But we are going to go after this guy because that's a pretty darn good chance to hit. Ooh, nice. So we got one AC on and we got the uh, the um, Thunderbolt on him. But he goes before everybody now. 
with the exception of our Cephalus, who's going to wipe out this uh, commando. Okay. Flea's not a threat. Mongoose. This guy can hit for some hard damage. we got to be careful. Yep. Oh, it's only a light PPC. Okay. Damage is minor, Commander. Yep. Yeah, you keep moving forward. I got some stuff for you. Ooh, what was that? Firebomb? I think it was. I think he's got firebombs. And I think he's used them both. I find some of these quick sell units to be mildly confusing at best. All right, um, let's drop a little bit of heat. Firing at enemy six. Tango down. I mean, I don't know. Whatever. Hey, that's pretty accurate. Nice shooting, man. So this guy's going now. Unfortunately, we can't capitalize on that instability. Oh, never mind. He's going to come down in melee because of course he is. Yeah. Sure. Oh. Commander. Yep, that's all right. <sighs> Gives us the opportunity to kill this guy. Firing all weapons. I think things are going swimmingly, don't you? Honestly, I don't think they really. They haven't really programmed For thought real. into what, like the melee attacks yet. Because putting your back to like an entire enemy force. When you have no ability to evade them, well, except for that, that's pretty good. Ta we'll target this guy instead, I guess. Um, let's go with let's go with everything on this guy. See if we can keep him from coming forward. Ooh, no, you missed. Short range missiles are out. Hey. All right, on this guy. Copy that. Firing alpha strike. This guy's like got no stability either. Like why would you I don't understand why you would do that. Waiting for orders. What do you think, Griff? Back on my feet, Commander. So we can't go up the hill. That's, this puts me in a really nasty predicament though. Like if I leave my back to this guy, he's got a back shot on me. But if I turn, I, that, the Clint's got a back shot on me. I mean, I guess I could go kind of this way. But then those guys have back shots on me. Um, let's go with Vigilance to maybe get better initiative next turn. And then let's move here, which puts our back, I think, to a wall. On my way. Oh no, my mech is limping. You think? Well, you are missing a leg. I'm just saying. Um, we can't get the sensors on that guy. We can over here. Let's drop some sensors on this guy. It'll make him easier to hit. Um, let's leave our heat off for now because we did lose the heat sink. So we'll go this route. It's a good thing I got the Inner Sphere um, double heat sink kit. Now I can swap it out because I don't have any clan heat, heat sinks to replace the one we just lost. Commander. Do, 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 do. Say goodbye. And, and it.
Oi! Fuck you! Locking on! One less target. No SRMs remaining. Yeah. I like a checkbox for removing melee from the game. I mean, it does give it... It does give the enemies this unpredictableness that's going to be like, you know, they can charge you at any time and wreck you. On my way. I get, I get that. But it's really most of the, like 99% of the time or 90% of the time it's just a suicide run. I copy. Alright, that was a leg hit. Glad we got the narc on this guy though. Definitely gonna help. Are you coming in for your melee attack? No? That's kind of a weird choice to target, but alright. Taking heavy hits, Commander. Are you? Didn't seem heavy to me. Everything's going to one side, though. Even though they're shooting at you from the front. Because, of course, it's going to the same side. Yep. This guy's mean business. All right. No. What now? Can't get a shot that Clint, huh? I mean, we could pull back and shoot this flea. Eh. It's much better. We'll take a shot to, at the guy at the far side. I wanted, I do want to pull back off there, though, because they are targeting the vehicles a fair bit. We want to reduce the amount of damage they're going to be taking, so let's just shoot this guy. Now that we got sensors on him, it's a little easier, I think, to target him. Yeah, you run. You run. I like it when they run. Ready for orders. Alright, well, we're gonna pull back here. Since you're turreted, we're gonna keep your undamaged side towards the enemy. Get into the trees, take some shot at this guy, probably. Probably that guy. Oh, 35% in this guy. But our guys are close by, so let's just go on this guy. Firing all weapons. No luck. That's all right. Standing by. That's all right. Okay, let's um, drop our recoil. And let's give them a fat target to shoot Roger. for. We're going to back up into the trees, not move a whole lot. 23 for a narc on that guy. 29. What was it on this guy? 38. So let's attempt a narc on this guy. Firing on target. Excellent. Good to go. I don't like that mongoose. We're so he's down the hill. He's got to come around this way to come up. Hmm. Yeah, I'm in a bad spot here. So this turns our left side to them, which we don't want, because that's the side that's damaged. Um... Those are missile only. So we're going to move out here. Got it. Get out of the heat. Turn our right side more to these guys. And let's get what we can on that far guy. Roger that. Alright. One of those hit. A few more sensors. You're going to go after the griffin, aren't you? Nope. Cloudbuster. Interesting. Interesting. Minimal damage on that hit. All right, who's up? You. Still shooting on the Cloudbuster. I'd be interested to see how they calculate who to, who to go after. I mean, maybe it's just the easier target to hit, or I don't know. 
I have no idea what this guy's trying to do. Okay, so you're narked. Order. Pull back on here. Keep on this fast guy. That'll drop a little bit of heat. I mean, he is not going to have much in his back, right? If we penetrate with the uh, X-Pulse anywhere here, it's a kill. So let's hope we get... Well, in the CT, it's a kill, that is. Let's hope we get him. You messed him up real good. That's pretty good. Take that. Keep on this Clint. I don't want him coming back this way, so... Acknowledge. Oof. Hey. Hey. That's a kill if we go after him. Okay. Mech destroyed. Got nobody at our back now. Yeah, you keep running. You just keep going. You got no weapons left. Just, you just keep running. All right, we need to engage this mongoose if we can. Got him to, got to get him to think twice about uh, moving forward on that griffin. Although it's 44 on this guy. Let's take a shot on him then. Roger that. Alright, we got one on it looked like. Yeah. I think it was a leg hit. What's this mongoose gonna do? Yeah, he's gonna back up. They've lost their advantage up front here now. Still going after the Cloudbuster though. All right, same idea. I'm going to move up. Confirmed. Put our stronger armored side facing the enemy, and we're going to take a shot at this guy. Ah. Would have been nice if we could have got that leg, but... Apollo would be a nice addition. It's 55 tons, right? So... Plus, it's got a wide variety of missile and energy hardpoints. It's like the mini, uh, mini archer. Right, Let's Commander. keep backing up. Keep our damage side to the enemy, and we will fire on this guy. Let's leave the sensors off for now. We want to use them later on. Tell me what to shoot. Nothing. Damn. Well. Let's see what he does. melee attack again. Here it comes. <sighs> Armor breach. That was a charge attack. Ah, oh, dang it, that hurt. Yes, Commander. That's sucky. Um, let's get into... That keeps the side facing the enemy. Let's get on this guy now. Wait, what? I can't target him now? What happened? Between me... Seeing that I could target him, and then... Um... What? How did... Did he all of a sudden vanish from, from my sensors? Lost one of ours. Yeah, not much I can do about that. Receiving you. That's... I don't even know what happened there. I don't know why he didn't, uh... Have the ability to target him. Roger. 
Huh. Inflicted some heavy damage. Short range missiles are out. Alright, let's get on this uh, urban mech here with the PPC. It's been causing too much problems. Damn accurate, too. Good on him, though. Okay. There Target. goes his whole left side. Alright. Well, we got some work on that Griffin to do now. It'll be interesting to see how much, uh, how much damage it took. Let's get up here. I'm gonna go after the mongoose again. Like, I know it, it, they killed the torso. I think maybe it was both torsos that went. Which will be bad, because then we lost everything. Like, all our weapons, but... There's at least a knockdown. I mean, technically, in that battle, they sacrificed the... They sacrificed, like, what, three mechs to get that guy? I'm ready. So, I mean, I don't know. Sure. Was it worth it? I guess maybe it was, like, the only thing they could do. Just out of spite. Target eliminated. All right, Griffin's... Oh, the, uh... Clint's coming back. I don't trust him not to melee me either, so I'm gonna have to move back, I think. Alright. Uh, that was so weird. You I mean you saw the blue line, unless I accidentally shifted my mouse when I moved. Like, that is a possibility, because I was, like, right on the edge of where I'd be able to target that guy. I don't understand how I lost targeting like that. But we'll fire everything on this guy. Tenfold. See what he does. So the R6, he's got a heavy rifle, I think. Is it the rifle? Standing by. I can't remember if it was the rifled version or not. Come on, bail out. You know you want to. You know you want to. Yep. <laughs> he's just... He's just had enough. Commander. Uh, let's not this... Let, let's not let this PPC get back up. Firing. We can't let him get back up. Eliminated. I'm here. All right, full sprint up here. I'm gonna hold off firing. Two reasons: one, so we don't hit our own guys, and two, so we can drop some recoil. Although we can attempt to get the narc. Oh, we can't get the narc on him. He's too far away. That's fine. That's fine. Yes, commander. All right, let's get you out of the heat and get targeting on this guy. Forty-two percent is pretty darn good. Not landing in the mo. Reporting negative damage. All right, now my vehicles can target that urban mech while we take on the Apollo and the Clint here with everybody else. Good fight. Yes, commander. Still not liking the idea of the uh, the melee, but good fight. I mean, they maximize their damage with the melee attacks. That's for sure. Commander. Excellent. So is that the heavy rifle version? The R6? Awaiting orders. Let's not let him get uh, a good shot at us. We'll get in here. I'm going to vigilance this so hopefully we can go before them next turn. And go after this guy right here. Oof, that was terrible. Orders. 
I Sturm. Don't miss. I copy. Don't miss. Hopefully get the narc on him if you can. I'm on it. Alright, the big one hit. And the narc's on. Yes. Aye, aye. Alright, buddy. Let's capitalize on this Location now. Confirmed. Capitalize on it. Here it comes. I got it. Yes. That hit something good. Peel and stick armor was destroyed. <laughs> yeah, you run. I like it when you run. Commander? How are you doing armor-wise? Uh, you're still pretty good. Ooh, we can't target the uh, urban mech, eh? Even though I can see him? That's interesting. Firing full complement on enemy. Alright, we got one on. Not bad. Systems holding. We are coming for you. It's not this turn. Gonna drop all that heat. Our heavier mechs are going to take a turn to get up there anyway. Somehow he's able to shoot at me, but I couldn't shoot at him, right? Eh? Standing by. Keep shooting the Irby? I think so. Just keep going after this guy. Hopefully we get the torso. Oop, some internal structure damage, but not quite enough. That looked like a critical hit. It did. Hey, Clint's coming back. Ready for orders. Coming back for more, are you? Alright, how many Thunderbolt rounds do we have left? Four? Plenty. Good night, sweet prince. That one's gone. Waiting for orders. Good night, sweet Clint. Acknowledged. Alright. I'm receiving you. Keep the side facing them. Can go after this Irby 42. Yeah, I'll go after the Irby. See if we can get a kill on him this turn. Down to, he's, oh, he's got a medium rifle. That was what it was. Alright, we got one on. I went on two, eh? Oof. Even more accurate. We gotta get the hell out of there. Damage minimal. Right here. As long as he's not shooting at you, you don't need to move. Let's just keep shooting at this guy. Copy that firing alpha strike. Was that the, it was the right torso, so that's the rifle gone. Critical hit, Commander. So he's pretty much done. Yeah. On it. Alright, on this Apollo now. Let's just straight up shoot him. Let's get some damage in. Locked up. If we can make him unstable. What do you need? Then we can get the uh, Cephalus to come in. And hopefully pull off one of his legs. Mm, let's go this route. Okay, at least the narc's on. Awaiting orders. Ooh, he'll have a chance to get behind me if I do that. But he won't have a chance to get behind me if I do that. that full speed. We'll get a little bit of a height advantage too, so we'll go up here. All right, now, um, let's vigilance this. Or, well, I don't think we need to because we're going to be faster than them anyway. So let's go after the legs, see what we can do here. Engaging. All right, we've got one on. Yes, Commander. 
Stick it out, buddy. Stick it out. See if we can get a knockdown on him. We got one hit, but not enough. Not enough for a knockdown. He's gonna melee him, because of course he is. He's dangerous. He is dangerous. This guy, on the other hand. Receiving you. Ten full. All right, Turkey. Let's get this guy. Oh, two on. Not enough, though. Yes, Commander. Um. Okay. Roger that. Okay, okay. Don't miss. Okay, get some instability on him. Oh, there goes the kill. Damn. Enemy mech destroyed. Yes, Commander. Ah, well. It is what it is. Confirmed. Let's finish this guy off now. He got one last, last. I got two rounds left for the ultra as well. <laughs> Perfect timing. There you go. Head hit too. That's a kill. There it is, folks. Mission successful. All right. That's uh, not even going to cover how much damage we took. At least the Griffin's an Omni Mac. Oh. Out for 81 days. At least he's not dead. That could that would have been bad if Griffith died. But 81 days. That's he's he's all his affinity affinities are going to be gone by the time he gets back, or at least most of them will be gone. But at least we have got a pilot to fill in temporarily. All right, that was a good mission. That was a good mission. We got four parts of an Apollo. I should just take the three Apollo parts, but let's see what we got down here. Uh, Thunderbolt 10. Compact actuator. Minus one arm accuracy. Why would you use this? I guess if you want to fit a bigger weapon in your arm, I would imagine, but... Don't need that. Oh, fire control system Artemis. We want that. We definitely want that. Um... We've got one of these. It's the damage one, but we do have one. Which is probably going to be going into the Griffin once it comes back. Although this would be nice as well. Tracker sensors. Oh, man. And Artemis LRM ammo. I gotta think about the Griffin too here now. Man, we got we just got those Rex lasers too. Like, you know what I mean? As much as I want to go after the, the Apollo parts, I think this is probably better at the moment. This is going to give us a way better chance to hit. So let's go this route. And no Apollo parts. Oh well, not much we can do about that. PPC gone. Compact life support. We got two of them. That's going to help out. It's going to add some armor. That can go. Speedy leg actuator replacements. Increased walk distance. Minus 8 stability threshold provided though. I think this is why... So I think these guys were on the... The Vindicator. Which is why I could move so fast. But it's also the reason why it had no stability. Like the stability bar was just a little bit above one bar. I'll, I'm going to keep them there for now. If we do end up doing like a melee mech or something like that. Although that's walk distance, not run. I mean, I guess it would be good for a heavy mech. I don't know. Let's hang on to them. Uh, quick sell value ammunition. Let's just uh, dump that. Uh, dead fire. Really? Can you use this with any with any of the TBMs? I would imagine so. I 
I would imagine so. Well, we'll hang on to it. Like, lower accuracy, but at least you could shoot at point blank if you had to. All right. So the amount of melee action, that's pretty hefty build there. The amount of melee action that's happening is making me not want to, like, get mechs that, can, that are going to close with the enemy. It just makes me not want to do that, you know? So the griffin's not going to be back in a while, so it looks like we'll probably... I was thinking about jumping, but we'll probably... Because um, our pilots, with the exception of Griff, who's out for 81 days, so we don't need the griffin back right away. We can go again without that mech in place if we take some of the lower level Take missions here. Make yourself comfortable. Uh, there's a destroy base, an assassinate at lower levels, uh, target acquisition. We could pro... Well, I don't know. We don't really have... We need a second... That's a tricky one. Because we've got the Zoria, which is pretty quick, and the Cephalus. So we could probably do two... Like just getting out there. Where, what is this in? It's in the desert. That's a tricky one because I know you have to go up and down a lot of hills. I don't think our Talos and the Hunchback are fast enough to be able to get away, get out at the end. They wouldn't make it to the exit point in 10 turns. Although we do have this one here we could do and it as a mid-level official in a Griffin that uh, we are supposed to keep alive, which means we would have four mechs. So we could take this one next time, I think. So I think we do that. We'll get the uh, current mechs back. We'll do that. I'm going to get the um, the Talos updated with the new targeting stuff, I think, for long range. And then uh, hopefully that'll be a sight and let, land some good shots at distance. And we might want to pull out... I might want to pull out the um, Thunderbolt and try to put some LRMs in there and go with the uh, Artemis system. Like, I was going to save the Artemis for the Griffin... But I think we can put it in the Talos for now. So let me just get that back. Anyway, I'm going to do that between episodes. Uh, this one was kind of long. So um, next episode when we come back, we'll take that other mission. And then um, probably jump to a, new, to a new system. And we're probably going to have to stick for around one and a half skulls again. Because we're going to be down a mech and a pilot for a while. Or at least a mech for a while. But we'll see how it goes. All right, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.